<laughs> Everything's fine. Totally want to be here. Not being held here against my will or anything. First, fast, and far out. Earth from up here with Zeblo Gonzor. Greetings, Grongites! Zeblo Gonzor here against my will to bring you yet another weekly update on the waste yard humans call home. As reported last week, the marijuanas have not only become big business in recent years, but a way of life. So much so that a group of Americans are now proudly devoted women of the hemp cloth. We're against religions, so we're not a religion. Through our clothes, we are showing respect to a plant that has been lied about and disrespected for 100 years. Last year, we did about $750,000 in sales. The only thing Trump has done for us is uh, put a light under a fire under our butts to get launched in another country. Now, as these women wish to be launched into another country just to get away from Supreme Leader Trump's, others are wishing they could be launched into another planet. However, the journey to the next site of environmental abuse has been delayed. Recent human research shows that most habitable planets would almost entirely be covered by oceans and in fact be just like living in a terrible three-hour movie forever. <laughs> I just can't wait until they finally realize their entire planet exists within a holographic simulation solely for our entertainment. <laughs> Can you imagine that? They'd be like, oh, my parking tickets I've been paying. They, it was, my money isn't even real. Is, is none of this real? <laughs> that would be hilarious. You know, if they're just being controlled by some kind of some simulator and we just go to their jobs, their crappy jobs, and, and then it's fun to us because we, we don't do that. Oh my God. This could be my life. Oh God. Everything's okay, Zeblo. Everything's okay. Everything's okay. Everything's okay. As Earth dwellers remain clueless to the nature of their own existence, they continue to praise their destruction of nature due to their existence on the celebration known as Earth Day. Here's a clip of the closing ceremony of the annual event. Now, if that trash party wasn't enough to pump you up, here's a real reason to celebrate. It's Supreme Leader Trump's third wife, Melanoma's birthday. Today, she turns many years less older than her less than better half. But nothing ages more gracefully than the tale of how Melanoma guided President Trump's through picking the members of his cabinet. If you want my advice, this is what you should do. Invite every animal on the farm to come. When we all get together, it will be so much fun. So much fun indeed. It sure has been mildly entertaining to watch those animals at work. Well, unless I can escape from the legally binding obligation to be here, I'll see you next time. I'm Zeblo Gonzor, and this has been Earth from up here.